What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Cameron, back at it again with a Fortnite video. In today's video, man, we're talking about arena mode. And honestly, I'm having a really, really good time with arena mode because let's be real, Fortnite completely, completely butchered the, you know, the OG mode, your solo duo squads. Those are unplayable, okay? They're terrible. I don't know why they would make the changes that they did to the game. I guess because they want to make it better for casuals. But from my experience, Arena has way more casual players that are worse than the people in, um, you know, the base game. And it's kind of ridiculous. Because I play the base game and it's still aggressive. It's the same shit as Arena mode. Except there's way more tryhards because they have a thousand, fucking three thousand mats that they get the max material. Which is bullshit. And they can just sit there and turtle all day. And then you're stuck. You're stuck with one opponent for too long. You get third partied. The base game is unplayable and it's garbage. So I recommend any of you guys go ahead and try arena mode. The people who play arena mode you are really not as good as you think they are. At least on PlayStation. They're not like fucking Ninja and Tifu and all those guys. Alright like you'll be able to play and you'll have a good time. And yeah I'm only in like the first division or whatever. But I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I put like three games and I already, I'm almost out of the first division. So it's pretty easy to, you know, rank up and go up into the divisions and play against better people if you want to, you know, partake in that. But I think the arena mode is fantastic. It's honestly awesome. It has the 500 mat count. It has Siphon, which is great. And I heard of, I saw a bullshit ass argument to why Siphon shouldn't be in the game. The argument was, you guys made it through seven seasons without Siphon, so don't complain now when it's gone. That's like saying... All right, we made it through a million years without electricity, so don't get mad when they take away electricity. Like, no, bro, we've already been exposed to it, so we're not, we can't be ignorant to the fact that you know, to the fact like that. We can't do that. It's ridiculous that they would make these changes. The changes are really, really, really bad. That, and I really want them to be, you know, reverted. At least they're adding the respawn van. The respawn van is coming in Fortnite, which is great i'm really excited to see that because finally they're you know they're staying up to date with their competition and you can respawn people and i really like that feature in apex and i've never played realm royale but i know that's also in the game but i like that you can just respawn people and you can keep playing and stuff like that because it's annoying to watch your teammates when you die for like 30 minutes or like 20 minutes especially if you die in the beginning of the game then it's just boring dude and then your teammates feel bad because they want to die so they can play with you. But now it's not the issue. You know, they can revive you and, it's, you know, you go on with your day and you have a good time. Instead of just sitting there with your dick in your hand not doing shit. So now I'm glad they're going to be adding the respawn van. And I think it has a similar, like, similar rules to Apex. You have to go pick up your banner. Or in this case, I think it's a respawn card from the trailer. Yeah, you have to go pick up the respawn card and it has a 90 second fuse on it. You have to pick that up and take it to, you know, the respawn van and respawn your teammate. But, you know, you're obviously going to have to loot up if you get revived. You're not going to have all your loot, which would be kind of interesting. But I can see why they wouldn't because that's really over, it's really overpowered. If you have all your loot in your mats, you just get respawned. That's bullshit. It's like in zombies, when you die, you don't have all your perks. You might have your guns, but you don't have all your perks. So I'm interested in if you die, do you just start out bare bones or do you have your guns but no mats? That's where I'm kind of like, hmm, what happens here? But I think you're just going to respawn bare bones, pickaxe, and have to loot up. But late game, you're fucked anyways. That's where I see a little bit of a problem with the respawn van. If you respawn mid-game, um, you know, mid-game or like kind of end of early game, you'll be straight chilling, dude. You can just loot up. There's enough guns and everything. But like late mid-game or late game or early late game, you're not going to have shit. You're going to get respawned and you're going to get fucking destroyed. Unless your teammates have shields, but you're not going to have good guns because you're not going to have good guns from floor loot. You're going to get like fucking gray ARs. And those are all completely useless when it comes to um, late game scenarios. But it's all good. I'm just glad they're finally, you know, adding something good into the game after they've been disappointing their community for the past two weeks with this terrible, terrible update of removing Siphon. Because even the players you were trying to please... The casual players do not like this. And that's when you know you really fucked up. 
No casual player. I myself am a casual player, all right? I'm not ninja. Yeah, I'm good at the game, as you can see from the gameplay, but I'm nothing special. Like, I'm just good at the game, and I can play and be good. That's it. I'm not out here fucking dropping 30 bombs, you know? I'm out here dropping, like, 8 or 9 or 10 bombs, you know? That's what I'm out here dropping. I'm just a casual player, like, all you guys watching this game. So, watching this gameplay, so... And that's where I think, like, this is a really bad change when you have people like me who are just hating the change and going to arena mode, which actually has less sweats than fucking base game. The base game is terrible. It has nothing. The one problem I have with arena mode is the load times. They're a bit long. They're not insanely long. Like, you won't be sitting there for hours trying to get a game. Maybe when you progress super high in the... In the tier system, or whatever it's called, the ranking system, you, it will take a little bit longer. Like, I saw Ninja touch on this. He said, okay, it's pretty hard for me to find a game. Because, yeah, you're a fucking beast, bro. Of course, it's going to be hard for you to find a game. But people like me, we can find a game relatively quickly. The longest I've waited is like a minute. And, yeah, I think that should be fixed. You know, you should just straight up just go into the game. But rank mode is good. And I know Arena is kind of like a, in the testing phase. It's not, you know, fully fleshed out yet. So I'm kind of eager to see what's fully fleshed out and how it looks then. But I've had no issues with it. I'm having a great time, and I prefer playing arena mode more than the base. The base game, like I've said before, is unplayable garbage. You cannot play it, dude. You cannot play it. There are so many issues. The issues I was having in Season 6 all the way to season mid-Season 7, late Season 7 are present in there. The shotguns, the pump shotguns, they're too powerful. That's my problem, and with Siphon, they're balanced. With Siphon, I can't complain about the pump shotguns, because I can, you know, hit a shotgun blast and you're done. I can't complain about the third parties, because if I take one of you guys, what if I take one of them out, I got some shield or I got some health back, and then I can mini up, and I'm good. But in base, the shotgun's going to hit me, and I'm going to have, like, 10 health, or I'm going to be dead. All right? And someone's going to spray me down, or I'm going to get third partied, and I'm fucked. I cannot do anything. If, I get third, if you get third party in the base, you're screwed, especially if you're low. There's nothing you can do. You're going to get eliminated easily by some cheap bullshit, all right? And there's just going to be somebody putting wall roof, wall roof, wall stair, wall stair for fucking de- for decades until another person comes along and fucking pumps you in the back of the head. So that's a huge problem. I hate the material count. It's too much. People have gone way too good, and when you have 3,000 mats, you don't even use your material strategically. You just go around just building everything. Like, there's no... There's nothing, nothing wrong with it, unless you get a... N- n- uh, uh, can't speak right now. Unless you get a lucky knockdown. Then it's fine. But the problems in it are just too apparent, and I can't... I can't play it, dude. I legit cannot play it. It's unplayable. It's actually trash. Like, I will not play it. That's how bad I hate it. Because, you know, you have a fighting chance in Arena because with the Siphon. And I even saw another uh, counter-argument to my argument here. It's like, oh, well, what about the good players? They never die. Like, dude, that's just terrible fucking logic. Okay? That's like saying, oh, Kobe, you're too good at mid-range jump shots. How the hell are we going to defend that? Like, didn't fucking play better defense, all right? It's like saying, oh, Curry, you're too good at shooting threes. How are we going to defend that? Like, dude. The player is that good because he plays the game, okay? He's good at the game, and I could still kill somebody who's good at the game if they siphon. I just have to outplay them. So you just want cheap kills of someone who's really good, but he's low as hell, so you can hit, like, a fucking... He has 10 health, so you can hit, like, a one pump shot from, like, 20 meters away, away and he's dead. And then you're like, oh, I beat you. Hoo-hoo. Like, that's just cheap kills. The no siphon just allows cheap kills. That's all it allows. Third partying, um... You know, fucking lucky pumps. Like, it all... It just allows all of that bullshit to happen. And I hate it. I absolutely cannot fucking stand it. So I'm glad that Arena's in the game. I'm really enjoying it. You guys should definitely go check it out. The people aren't as good as you think they are. So don't be intimidated. Just go in. It's great. I definitely recommend it. And thank you guys all for watching. This is your boy Cameron. If you had a good time, smash that like button. And let me know what you guys think about the state of the game in the comment section below. With that all being said, this is your boy Cameron. I am out.